Hey, what's up, guys? Sideline Report here. Just got done watching the Green Bay Packers game. The Green Bay Packers started off the game with the football, and on their first drive, they had a turnover. Jordan Love was in shotgun form, and he looked to his right while he was going through his cadences, and the center hiked the ball over his head. Honestly, it was really hard to tell whose fault that was. The ball went back about 10 yards, and it was recovered by the New England Patriots at about the Packers' 25-yard line or so. And this led to the first touchdown for Mac Jones and the, and the New England Patriots. On the Packers' second drive, Jordan Love came back and had an amazing 50-yard bomb to Romeo Dobbs, which was initially called an incomplete pass, but it was challenged by Matt LaFleur and the Green Bay Packers, and it was overturned because Romeo Dobbs had both feet just barely in bounds. And while I was watching this play live, I definitely thought that it was out of bounds, Jordan Love threw this football from the Packers' end zone to about the 50-yard line or so. It had 50 air yards, and it was just a super impressive pass from Jordan Love. Jordan Love then came back and had a 19-yard touchdown pass to rookie wide receiver Jaden Reed, who I'm really excited to watch play this season. I really do think Jaden Reed has the potential to be the Packers wide receiver number three behind Romeo Dobbs and Christian Watson, respectively. Jordan Love finished this football game 5 of 8, 83 yards, 1 touchdown, 0 interceptions, and a quarterback rating of 137.0. The Packers rookie kicker Anders Carlson made both of his extra points. Right before halftime, Carlson made a 52-yard field goal, and it made the game 17-14. to And it's just an amazing way, you know, for the rookie kicker to bounce back. You know, last season, uh, last preseason game, he missed two extra points. Maybe I was just being too hard on the rookie kicker, you know, for him missing a couple 40 yarders in practice and missing a few extra points. I'm really excited to see how Anders Carlson continues to grow with his first season with the Packers. Packers defensively played great. Kingsley uh, Anagabor had two sacks, and the Packers had a sack fumble recovery on quarterback Bailey Zappi, which gave them the ball at about the Packers' 20-yard line or so. The Packers' um, rookie quarterback, Sean Clifford, took the ball the rest of the 20 yards, and the Packers scored an 8-yard rushing touchdown by Patrick Taylor Jr. In the third quarter, the Packers ran a grand total of five plays, but they score, but the score remained the same because the Patriots had a 17-play drive, and they were about to kick a field goal before time expired in the third quarter, but the Patriots called a timeout after the commercial break. I initially thought that uh, this was the first play of the fourth quarter, but it was the last play of the third quarter with two seconds left, and the Patriots decided to go for it on fourth down and two. This was their 17th play of the drive. Bailey Zappi was in shotgun form. He evaded pressure, rolled out to the right, and just had an easy rushing touchdown to give the pa uh, Patriots a 21-17 lead. Sean Clifford had a dangerous throw but was bailed out by the undrafted rookie uh, Malik Health, who jumped up and just made an amazing 25-yard re uh, reception. Sean Clifford had another amazing uh, or another nice reception of eight yards to the pa uh for a Packers first down to the Patriots 18 yard line. Unfortunately, on that play, cornerback Isaiah Bolden was injured um, by impact by another Patriots defender, and he had to be taken off the field on a stretcher. I really do hope the best for him, and I really hope that it's not a serious injury. After that injury, both head coaches agreed to end the game with 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter, which gave the Patriots a 21-14 to victory. And, you know, seeing injuries like that is very scary. I really do hope Isaiah Bolden is okay. Both announcers mentioned that he was being taken to the hospital in an ambulance, uh, five years ago, I was in a pretty terrible motorcycle accident myself, and I had to be taken to the hospital in, a, in, a, in an ambulance, and it was extremely scary. So I just really hope Isaiah Bolden is okay, and I'll pray for him tonight. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I just wanted to also say I had absolutely no problem with uh, the New England Patriots and the Green Bay Packers ending this game early because it's just a preseason game, and the health of Isaiah Bolden is way more important than the outcome of this game that just does not count at all. Um, so go Pack Go, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one.